everyone. I'm Dr. E. Naresh Kumar, Assistant Professor in the Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. Today, we are going to have a discussion on introduction to the electrical circuits, problems, and its solutions. So, first, here the question is determine the average value or MS value for a given waveform. So, here this is the waveform that is voltage waveform. So, for this particular waveform, this is the waveform. So, for this particular waveform, determine average value first. How we will calculate the average value? Area under the curve divided by total time period. Here, what is the time period here? The time period is here 8. Time taken to complete one cycle is known as the time period. For this particular uh, waveform, first here average value equals to now this one average value equals area under the curve divided by total time this area can be calculated this area this one this area can be calculated so now 0 0 40 40 60 60 this one next 80 this one next 100 this one next this one is all again 80 180 next 60 next 40 next 0 plus 0 and divided by total time period is 8 this value is 5.75 5.75 50 sorry 57.5 is the average value for this particular waveform now here what about rms value rms value means root mean square value so now here that formula is here rms value so under root this 0 square plus 10 uh, 40 square and next 60 60 square next uh, 80 80 square 100 100 square next this one 80 and this 80 and next 60 this one 60 and next this one 40 and 40 so square summation of all uh, square divided by total time period that equals to this value equals to 64.42 volts so this is average value and this one is the rms value now second waveform determine the average value and rms value for a given waveform what is the waveform here for this particular waveform here this is square waveform but unsymmetrical waveform so previously we solved one problem so that is symmetrical waveform symmetrical wave waveform means in the complete uh, cycle so off cycle for positive off cycle and negative off cycle must be same so now here this one here positive there is no negative off cycle because that is this is a symmetrical waveform so for this particular waveform uh, average value formula so that average value formula equals to that 0 to 1 by t average value formula now that equals to 0 to t f of t dt this is the formula for symmetrical waveform so take off cycle this is t by 2 and t by 2 so it is a symmetric asymmetrical waveform 1 by t integral of 0 to t f of t dt now here f of t is a voltage waveform function is a voltage now here average so how you will calculate so first determine so what are the ranges what is the time period here so time taken to complete one cycle is known as the time period so this is the time period so t by 2 and t so time period is t and then next this is the 3 t by 2 3 by 2 and next 2t so up to here one cycle so time taken to complete one cycle is known as a time period time period is the t here and the maximum value is the vm so now here so this waveform this waveform is divided into two parts up to t by 2 up to t by 2 0 to t by 2 this waveform uh, equation is uh, v equals to v this v equals to vm and this t by 2 to t this one this value is 0 so keep it in mind now here uh, 
v equals to vm v equals to vm that equals v vm v equals vm and in between 0 to t by 2 this one and between t by 2 to t this one that equals to 0 this value is 0 now here the average value formula the average value equals to so this this is the formula 1 by t integral of 0 t v of t dt this v of t is divided into two parts 0 to t by 2 and t by 2 to t by t so this one so from 0 to t by 2 this value is vm and t by 2 t this value is 0 so 0 to t by 2 this value is vm and t by 2 t this value is 0 so now here integrated total time period is t so now if you integrate it this value is completely 0 and here you consider only this one so 0 to t by 2 vm so 1 by t so now the final uh, equation is v average equals 1 by t 0 to t by 2 vm dt now if you integrate this vm here vm is a constant this constant is vm and next t square by 2 this equals to this is equals to uh, one uh, one integration is t and that limits are 0 to t by 2. Now that equals vm by t, t by 2 that equals to this one, t by 2 minus 0 that equals to this tt gets cancelled and this value equals to 0 0.5 vm. So that means vm by 2. This is average value. What about RMS value? RMS value can be calculated, uh, you can calculate the, like this 1 by t. So, for RMS value complete, uh, so here for complete full cycle you consider it. So, 0 to t. So, for symmetrical and asymmetrical. So, 1 by t, 0 to t, v of t is uh, square dt. So, now here v of t means here vm only. So, now vm and so this t means this already we discussed here and t by t t 0 to t by 2 this value is t by 2 and vm square by t t t gets cancelled this final rms value equals to 0 0.707 vm so that means vm by root 2 is the rms value now next problem This is a triangular waveform. So, triangular waveform. What is the time period for this waveform? So, time period is time period is t up to here one cycle and this is the second cycle. And next, what about this equation? This equation equals t comma vm and this one is 0 comma 0. What about this equation? Equation equals to. So, we know this formula y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 that equals y minus y1 divided by x minus x1. So, we know this formula if you know the two points x1, y1 and x2, y2 and x and y are coordinates, x coordinate and y. Here x and y are 0 and x1, y1 is 0 and x2, y2 is t comma vm and here x is the t and y is the v. This now, here if you substitute in this, so y2 minus y1, so this vm minus 0 divided by uh, next uh, t minus 0, that equals to, now here, what about this one x, this v minus 0 divided by t minus 0. So, now this v equals to, this v equals to vm by t into t, this is the final equation. So, now we got this v equals to vm by t into t. Now, here. So, this is the v equation from 0 to t only. This is the asymmetrical waveform. So, there is no negative off cycle. So, now for this particular waveform. So, now we know this formula v average equals to 1 by t integral of 0 to t v of t dt that equals to this v of t value is vm by t this one vm by t now if you integrate this t t integration 
with respect to t dt that means t square by 2 this one is t integration and vm by t is the constant vm by t you can take it as a common so vm by t square t into t t square and t square by 2 and t by 0 uh, sorry 0 to t in the limits and if you substitute in this t so t square t square gets cancelled in the numerator and denominator so now here that final value is 0 0.5 vm now here rms value equals to same thing here so now here a uh, vrms equals to 0 to t 1 by t integral of 0 to t v of t square dt so now here v of t means this one vm square vm by t capital t into small t capital t is the time period and t is the time axis and vm square by t square into small t square dt if you simplify t square integration is t cube by so if integral of t t square is t cube by 3 t power n means t power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 so now here t cube by 3 so now 0 to t if you substitute in this t cube by 3 so t, 3, t, t power 3 and t power 3 in the numerator and denominator it gets cancelled so that final value is 0 0.0577 v so now next problem same thing here that here vm equals to 5 and t equals to 5 if you substitute in this in the previous problem so vm equals to so average value equals to 0 0.5 into 5 maximum value is 5 and here 0 0.0575 so this one same problem that is here vm and this one is a t so same time axis average value equals to in the previous problem v average equals to 1 by 2 vm that is 0 0.5 vm so that equals 0 0.5 into 5 that equals to 2.5 is the average value but it is a current waveform that one is a voltage waveform so here you can take it as amperes and R rms value equals to so 0 0.577 vm that equals 0 0.577 into 5 so this one is the your rms value so now next problem now this is important what is the time period here this is the time period time period equals to 5 and what is the maximum value is 8 so this 8 this is this value is this point is 2 comma 8 and this one is 0 comma 0 so now if you write the equation y minus y1 divided by x minus x1 that equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 here this one is x1 y1 and this one is x2 y2 and this one is a y and this one is a x so now here v of t minus uh, 0 divided by t minus 0 that one equals to 8 minus 0 divided by 2 minus 0 that equals v of t equals to 4 into t so here v of t equals to 4 t only so now here how you will calculate the v average equals to that equals to integral of 0 to t 1 by t v of t dt that equals to 1 by t here what about time period this one is divided into two parts here so 0 to t2 2 this value is vm equals to 4t and after that this 2 to t to 5 this value is 0 this vm value is 0 so now here you can represent this what is the time period here so 5 0 to 2 next 4t dt plus and 3 to sorry 2 to 5 0 d so now here this one this is completely this divided by 5 now here 4t 4t square so 1 by 5 4 into t square by 2 0 to 2 this value is completely 0 that one equals to 
to 4 into 2 square by 2. Next 4 into 4 and this one, this one equals to 16 by 10. 1.6 is the average value for this particular waveform. This is a asymmetrical waveform. Now here, uh, next one, RMS value. So RMS value, same thing you can calculate, but complete full cycle. So V RMS equals to, so square root of 1 by T integral of 0 to T, V of T square into DT. So now here 1 by 5 in square root of 0 to T. Now this 1 equals V of T means here, so 4 T square DT and next from 0 to T up to T, 2 okay, up to 5 you consider. So, 2 to 5, 0 to 2 and this one. So, now here for complete full cycle, this is up to 2 only. So, now 1 by 5, 40 square, 40 square means integral of, so 4 into t cube by 3, so that is 0 to 2. So, now this is under square. So, now here 1 by 5 integral of, so now 4 into 2 cube divided by 3. So now what is the value here? 4, 8 into 4, 32 divided by 15 is the VRMS. So now here 1.6 is the V average value for this waveform. Now next problem, determine the average value and RMS value for a given waveform. So now here what is the waveform here? This is not triangular, not square waveform. So up to here triangular and up to here square. After that same cycle is repeated like this. So what is the time period for this waveform? So up to here one complete one cycle. So first cycle and up to here second cycle. So now here time period t equals to 2 only. This time period is divided into two parts. So now here I am representing this time period. So now here 1, 2, T2, 2, 1 and 0 to T2, 1. So 0 to T, 0 to 1 in between 1, 0 and 1 in between 1 and 2. So what is the, this value is 1 comma 1 and this value is 0 comma 0. So now here this one x2, y2 and this one is x1, y1 and this one is y and this one is x. So now here, so how you will represent this this one in, in between these two, v of t equals to 0 to v of t equals to. So this value is 1 and this value is, uh, this value is 1. So this is horizontal to the x axis, this equation. So that value is 1, this one and this one is the, this 1 by 1 into t. So, V of T equals to T only. Now, you can substitute in the average value formula. This is the average value formula. V average equals to 1 by T, 0 to T, V of T dt. That equals to 1 by 2. What is the time period? Is 2. And next, 0 to 1 is this one. 0 to 1, this value is T. And 1 to 2, this value is 1, this one. So, now here, if you simplify this one, so this is t square by 2, t square by 2 and this one integration is t. So now this simplification is t square by 2 means that is 1 by 2 and this one t, if you substitute 2 minus 1 that is the 1. So this one is 1. So now if you simplify this one, so that value is 0 0.75 volts. And what about the RMS value? RMS value also same thing, but is that is for complete full cycles 1 by t, 0 to t and v square dt. So, don't confuse here, this is v of t only, this is square and this is under root. And next square root of 1 by 2, 0 to 1 t square dt plus 1 to 2, 1 square dt. Now here, t square integration is t cube by 3 and t this one t cube by 3 and this one integration is t and now if you substitute the limit 0 and 1 in this 
and 1 and 2 in this that is 1 by 3 minus 0 and 2 minus 1. So now that final equation this is completely this one and now the value of RMS value for this particular waveform is 0 0.816 volts average value V average value and this one is a V RMS value. So now next problem here. This is also not square waveform, it's a square waveform, but not symmetrical, uh, asymmetrical waveform. So now here, so this is a symmetrical, uh, asymmetrical waveform, square waveform, but different type of square waveform. So what about the time period for this first? Determine the time period if when you are calculating the average value and RMS value. So this time period equals to 3 only. So now here the time period is divided into 3 parts 0 to 1 and 1 to 2 and 2 to 2. 0 to 1 and 1 to 2 and 2 to 3. So this value is 0 and this value is 10 and this value is 20. So now here if you see this same thing here. So 0 10 plus 20 plus 10 by area under the curve divided by 3 time period t. That value is 10. And next what about the RMS value in the first problem we solved like this only 0 square plus 0 square plus 10 square plus 20 square divided by 3 and under root that equals to 12.9 ohms for this waveform average RMS value and this is the average value. Next. Determine the average value and RMS value for a given waveform. This is triangular and square. In the previous problem, the diagram should be like this. So now here it is this uh, square is in the negative fourth quadrant. So now here this is triangular waveform and this one is the square waveform. Previously it was in uh, in the first quadrant. Now limits also different. Now what about this value 2 comma 10 and 0 comma 0 and this one. So now this time period. What about time period? So first cycle up to here only time period equals to 4 here. And next this is second cycle. The next this one is a third cycle. So consider only first cycle. So now here y2 minus y minus y1 divided by x minus x1 that equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 that equals y minus 0. Y, y, y means here i of t not v of t and this one is a x is a t and y is a y of t. So now here so so i of t minus i of t minus 0 divided by uh, this t minus 0 that equals to 10 minus 0 divided by 2 minus 0 that equals i of t equals to 5 into t only. So now here the limits. So 0 to t, 0 to t this equation is 5 into t. V of uh, I of t and next 2 to 4 this 2 to 4 this value is so this what about this value minus 10 so this value is minus 10. So now we have the equations for I of t in between 0 to t and 2 to 4. So now you can calculate the average value average value formula same RMS value is given. Average, RM, average value how you will calculate? So first here, so 1 by t integral of 0 to t and v of t dt that is v average value. So now here average value equals to 1 by 4 is the time period and this limits are 0 to 2 and 2 to 4. 0 to 2 is the phi of t plus and next this one is a minus 10 dt. Now here phi of t dt divided by 4. 
and next here 1 by 4 into 5 into t square by 2 and 0 to 2 plus and next minus 10 into t next 2 to 4 now if you simplify this equation so now this one 1 by 4 5 into 4 by 2 2 square by this 2 square by 2 so now minus 10 minus 10 uh, into 4 minus 2 so now here this if the simplified value is 1 by 4 into 5 so 2 into 2 10 minus so minus 20 so now this one is minus 10 minus 10, minus 10 divided by 4 that equals to minus 2.5 is the average value 2.5 is the average value now next what about the rms value rms value is also same here 1 by 4 so v i r m s equals not v r m s i r m s so now here this is minus 2.5 and next i r m s equals to 1 by t 0 to t i of t square f of t square means here function is here uh, uh, i of t so current function 1 by 4 is the time period and 0 to 2 phi t square is, this is i of t in between 0 to 2 and in between 2 to 4 this value is 10 so 10 square so now if you substitute in this uh, this value 5 5 square means 25 t square integration is t 3 by 3 and between 0 to 2 limits and this one 100 this one is 100 and one integration is t so now in between 2 to 4 so now if you substitute uh, this 2 t cube so t cube means 2 uh, 1 by 4 25 into 8 divided by 3 25 into 8 means that is 200 and next here 100 into 4 minus 2 that equals to 2 into 100 that equals 200 that final value 1 by 4 square root of 1 by 4 200 by 3 plus 200 equals to 8.165 amperes so now this is average value and this one is the rms value for this current waveform so now next problem determine the average value and rms value for a given waveform now this is the sine wave sine what is the sine wave here this one is the sine wave so now here if you give the half wave rectifier you will get the in the first half cycle you will get the 0 pi and 2 pi this is the 3 pi and this one is the 4 pi now here for half wave rectifier output from 0 to pi only so diode is in forward bias and the next in the pi to 2 pi diode is in reverse bias and it will not conduct but this is diode case for thyristor case so for thyristor case so this is for up to here so there is a firing angle is pi by 4 and there is a firing angle so it starts from it conducts from this firing angle alpha and it's this 2 pi plus alpha so this diagram is half wave rectifier half wave controlled rectifier we can call it as a half wave controlled rectifier this waveform we can call it as a half wave half wave controlled rectifier output half wave rectifier controlled after wave half wave controlled rectifier output so now here for this particular waveform calculate the rms value and average value same thing here so you can so from 0 to 0 v of t equals 0 up to here so this value is 0 so now this time period is divided into three parts here so now here 0 to pi by 4 0 to pi by 4 this value is 0 completely 0 now here pi by 4 to theta this is sine wave it follows the sine wave it follows the supply voltage that is sine wave so this is vertical and this one is a sine wave 
Vm sin omega t. So Vm is the maximum value and sin omega theta. This is theta. And next pi to 2 pi value, this one is 0. Again 0. And next this is up to here 1 cycle. So time period is 2 pi. So time period is divided into 3 parts 0 to pi by 4 and pi by 4 to pi and uh, pi to 2 pi. So it is forward conducting, forward uh, forward blocking mode and here forward conducting mode and reverse blocking mode. So here these three modes are in, important in the thyristor case. So that I will, uh, that you can see in the thyristor operation now here. So now if you substitute in the average value, so now v average value equals 1 by 2 pi 0 to 2 pi v of t t t. This is t and this is t. And this vm is divided. Here this conducts only pi by 4 to pi only. Now here pi by 4 pi and remaining values are 0. So now here sin theta value. Sin theta integration is minus cos theta. That is from pi by 4 to pi. So now vm by pi. And this value, pi, cos of uh, pi, cos pi value is 1. So this I will simplify here. So this one minus of cos pi, minus of cos pi by 4. So now cos pi is minus 1, minus 1 by root 2. So now here multiply with this is 1 and if you multiply this one is plus and 1 by root 2 value is the 0 0.707. And this final value is 0 0.272 Vm. Now, now here RMS value. This is the average value. Now here this is average V average value for this one. And V RMS value you can calculate V RMS equals to 1 by 2 pi and that one equals to 0 to pi. The complete full cycle and next V square t. Now here v, v square v of t is the vm sin, sin theta this one. So vm square sin square theta this one if it's uh, square and next here vm square is a common so sin square theta. Sin square theta we can call it as a we can uh, write it as 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by 2. So now here sin square theta. Now here this 1 by 2 integration is the theta we are integrating with respect to d theta. So this value this is the theta by 2 and cos 2 theta integration is the sin 2 theta by 2 and again 2 is in the denominator and that means it is 4. Now here if you substitute the limits pi by 4 and pi so that equals to pi by 4 this is pi by pi minus pi by 4 uh, this value is pi by 2 and this if you substitute in this sin 2 pi minus by 4 plus pi by 8 plus sin pi by 2 by 4. So now here this one is 0 sin pi sin 0 sin 2 pi sin 3 pi value 0 and sin pi by 2 value is 1. So now if you simplify this one you will get the value is 0 0.476 VM. Um, so this is the RMS value of this waveform. This is the half wave rectifier control, half wave control rectifier output, average value and RMS value. Now let us move to the next problem. So average value, RMS value formulas uh, completed. Next, the waveform of voltage has a form factor of 1.5 and peak factor of 1.5. So this is not 1.5, 1.15 and 1.5 and the maximum value of uh, voltage is 4500. So determine the average value and RMS value. There is no average value, RMS value. So, RM waveform is not given, direct value, form factor and peak factor values are given. Form factor means RMS value by average value and peak factor means and maximum value by RMS value. 
so now here we know the average value and we know the if you know this uh, peak factor and uh, form factor and maximum value then you can calculate the average value and rms value so now here these are the values peak value maximum this is form factor and this one is the peak factor and this one is the rms value average maximum value so now here so now this first peak factor peak factor means maximum value is given 4500 and rms value so peak value uh, peak factor is given 1.5 this one and this this one is given so i am representing again so this one is 1.5 peak factor and maximum value is this so from this we can determine the rms value next formula crest factor that means form factor uh, that value is so rms by average value this is the rm uh, this is the 1.15 and rms value is 3000 and this you can calculate the average value average value equals to 2608 2608.7 volts and this is the rms and this one is the average value now and an ac circuit an ac circuit consists of pure resistor 10 ohms and it is connected across the ac supply 230 volts so now this is the resistor connected across the ac supply 230 volts and 50 heads and this is 10 ohms now calculate the current value and power consumed calculate the current value and next power consumed next third power factor that means cos phi and next fourth one write down the equation for voltage and current so now here how you will calculate the current value so now here if you know the voltage then you can calculate the current so we know the ohms law v is equal to r voltage divided by resistance is known as the current so now that you can calculate that one i equals to v is equal to ir i equals v by r so that means 2, 230 is a supply voltage and 10 ohms is a resistance current is a 23 amperes now here next what about the power consumed power consumed means always we will take a true power so power equals to p equals to v into i cos phi but here cos phi value is zero so that i will explain in the next problem so now here power equals v into i 230 into 3 here cos phi equals to 1 for pure resistive case so that power factor value equals to 1 so no need to consider cos phi so power consumed in the circuit here equals to 23 into 23 amperes into 230 that equals to this value equals to 5290 watts so that means 5.290 kilo watts so now what about the power factor so now power factor so now in the pure resistive case voltage and current both are in phase so the angle between this voltage vector and current vector is zero so that phi value is zero means cos phi power factor value equals to one so now here power factor equals to one means this one power factor angle is zero because this voltage vector and current vector is uh, both are in phase that angle is zero means power factor is one now here what about the equations so now let me remove this erase this what are the voltage and current equations so vm equals vm equals root into v so we know this formula so this v equals to 230 volts and that equals to 325.27 volts and next same way i m equals root 2 into i so that i m equals root 2 into 23 that equals to 32.53 so now here we know the omega omega equals 2 pi f that equals 2 pi into f equals to this 50 heads this one now that equals to 30 uh, uh, sorry 
314.16 radians per second. Now you can write the voltage and current equals. Voltage equation is V equals Vm sin omega t and I equals Im sin omega t. Vm we calculated here and Im we calculated here. Omega t, omega value is 314.16 radians per second. So this is voltage and this one is the current and this one is the omega t. These two are the voltage equations and current equations. Now here current value is 23 and power factor value is power consumed is 5.29 kilowatts and this power factor is 1 and these two are the equations for this pure resistor across the AC supply voltage 230 volts and 50 H. Next second problem an inductive coil having negligible resistance and 0.1 Henry inductance is connected across the uh, 200 volts 50 H. So pure inductive. So now here this is supply voltage is to 200 volts 50 H. So a negligible resistance. It is RN circuit. Negligible resistance is R is 0 means this is pure inductive that Henry's. So now here calculate the current. How you will calculate? So now here calculate the RMS value of it. First calculate the inductance. So how you will calculate the inductive reactance? So now first one equals to that equals XL equals to 2 pi FL. So we know the inductance value XL equals to 2 pi FL that equals to 2 pi into F value is 50 and inductance value is 0 0.1 that equals to 31.42. Next what about the RMS value? RMS value of current equals to this voltage divided by this reactance. In the previous problem, I equals to V by R, but here in this problem, I equals to V by Z that equals to V by R plus Jx. This R value is negligible resistance means this is X only. So now here this X value is 31.42. Now this value equals to 6.37 amperes. Now what about the power, power equals to power, power and power factor. So power equals to power equals cos phi angle between voltage and current. So in the pure inductive case voltage and current. So voltage and current. Current lags voltage by 90 degrees or current voltage leads current by 90 degrees. So that angle between voltage and current is 90. So now here power is here. This is true power V i cos phi. So in the previous case also cos phi is 1. So now here in this case cos phi is 0. Now cos 90 value is 0 means entire power consumed here in the pure inductive case is 0. Now here what about power factor cos 90 is 0. Power factor means cos phi. Next this one equations. So now here this is important. Same thing here voltage equals to 200. So first here V equals to Vm sin omega t and I equals to Im sin omega t. But here same thing current lags voltage by 90 degrees. This voltage is the voltage is the reference and this is a 90 current lags voltage by 90 degrees that is minus 90 degrees and Im and Vm. So now calculate the Vm, Vm value and Im value and omega value. Then you substitute it. Already we solved in the previous problem. So Vm equals root 2 into V. Root 2 into V means this is 200 that equals to 282.84. And next case Im equals to square root of square root root 2 into I that equals root 2 into 0 0.67 this one this current value so now that equals to 9 amperes now what about omega omega means 2 pi f that equals to 2 pi into 50 this is 50 so that equals to 314.16 radians per second if you substitute in this these three values so now here 282.84 sin 314.16 Point one sixty. That next in this case nine into this nine into three one four point one sixty minus and 
these two are this is voltage equation and this one is the current equation now next last problem for pure resistive case completed pure inductive case completed now pure capacitor case this pure capacitor case pure capacitor is connected across the ac supply 230 volts and 50 h a capacitor have capacitance of 30 microfarads which is connected across the 230 volts 50 h supply so now here 30 microfarads so now calculate the capacitive reactance capacitive reactance means so capacitive reactance equals 1 by 2 pi fc so that we will see here so capacitive reactance equals so 1 by 2 pi fc here f is a 50 and next here microfarads 30 into 10 power minus 6 so that value equals to 100 106.1 ohm next what about this current value current equals v by xc r minus j x z equals to so now i equals v by z that v by r minus j x this is a negligible and v by x c only we will consider and i equals v by x c that equals 230 by 106.1 that value equals to 2.17 amperes power factor power factor means this angle also now here this is the current voltage and current and 90 degrees current leads voltage by 90 degrees in case of pure capacitive in case of pure capacitor connected across the 230 ac supply in this case current lags sorry current leads voltage by 90 degrees in case of capacity inductive case current lags voltage by 90 degrees in this case current leads voltage by 90 degrees and that angle between these two is 90 so this one and this one is also zero power consumed in the circuit is zero so now here current leads voltage by 90 degrees that angle is zero whatever the voltage and current but power factor is zero means total entire power is zero what about the power factor so what about the power factor power factor is also zero so now here vectors equations for this so how we will write the equations so first here first equation same thing here this is plus here in the previous case so this is the voltage will take voltage as a reference v and this one is a i but here that angle is 90 degrees this is leading voltage is plus and lagging voltage is minus and vm im and first v equals vm sin omega t and i equals im sin omega t plus pi by 2 for this particular uh, given data so now omega i means 2 pi f that is f equals to 50 that equals 314.16 radians per second but what about vm and im vm equals root 2 into v this v equals to this one so 230 volts that equals 325.27 next what about this i equals to 2.7 this one 2.17 that equals to root 2 into 2.17 this one this one now here now, now if you substitute in this so this 3 to 325.7 vm sin omega t this is omega and this is vm and this is omega and this is the im this is 3.27 3.07 and next this is omega and this is pi by 2 so now here final uh, conclusions here the reactance is 106.1 and the current is uh, this rms value of 2.17 and this power factor the power is completely zero power factor is also zero these two equations are these two i hope all this uh, average value and next next problem an alternating voltage 80 plus j60 volt is applied to the circuit and current flowing through current flowing is 4 minus 2j find out the impedance phase angle power factor and power consumed so this is the voltage and this one is the current so now 
So, what is the formula Z equals to V by I or I equals to V by Z. So, now here impedance equals to Z equals V by I. So, V is the 80 plus J60 and I is the 4 plus 4 minus 2J. Now, these two are in rectangular form. So, so for multiplication and division use polar form and for uh, uh, addition and subtraction use rectangular form. This is the division. So, for this division you convert this one into polar form and convert this one into polar form. So, polar to rectangular and rectangular polar form this is the r comma theta x and y. So, now here r equals square root of x square plus y square square root and theta equals to tan inverse y by x. So, now here theta, this is theta and this one is x. This is x and y, this is x and y, this is r comma theta and r comma theta. If you use this formula, this one equals to, this r equals to square root of 80 square plus 60 square that is 100 and this one is tan inverse 60 by 80. So, this value is 36.87, this value is 100. Same thing here. 4 square plus 2 square. Next, this one is the tan inverse minus 2 by 4. This value is minus 26.56 and this value is 4.47. Now, here this calculation is okay. Next case. So, here two quantities R1 theta 1 and R2 theta 2. So, to uh, division for this division. So, this simplification R1 by R2 theta 1 minus theta. So, now here 100 by 4.47 value is 22.7 and this theta 1 minus theta 2. So, this is minus minus 26. So, this value is. So, here you can add this one 36.87 minus of minus 26. 36.87 minus of minus 26.56. So, that value is 63.43. So, now the impedance value is 22.37. Now, what about the phase angle? Phase angle is 63.43, this angle. And next, what about the power factor? If you substitute in the cos phi, that value equals 63.43. Cos of 63.43 value equals 0 0.447. That means lagging power factor. If it is positive, lagging power factor. If it is negative, leading power factor. So, now what about power consumption? Power consumption. So, this voltage, this voltage and this, this voltage and this current and this power factor. So, P equals to V into I cos phi. So, cos phi is 0 0.447 and this voltage is 100 and this a current is 4.47. So, the final value is here 199.81 watts here. I hope all the uh, all these problems are clear to you. If you still have any doubts in this lecture, you can comment in the comment section below. I will answer to your queries. Thank you. Thank you very much to you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.